Hello, welcome to another problem session. Um, today we have a really interesting and relatively difficult problem to solve. So <clears throat> here's a problem. Uh, you're rolling this disc in this large circle. You know, you can think of it as a large circle. Uh, this R being large and not drawn here to scale. <clears throat> But you're rolling in a constant, this rolls freely in a constant circle, just going around in a circle. You might have seen this in science museums. Uh, sometimes in science museum you have a, uh, instead of flat, you usually has, uh, have, a, have a cup and you, uh, you kind of roll it, roll, roll a coin here and goes around like that in a circle. And eventually it loses energy and then eventually coin just falls down. So this is a, you know, one of these circles, you might say. And you can see here, it doesn't show leaning, but it is a, at this angle, it's leaning. Okay. So you have, uh, we have this uh, uh, thing leaning, uh, and but it's rolling freely. You're not pushing it or anything it's just rolling by gravity is there that's the only external force and the other one will be a uh, friction uh, at the contact because it is it is rolling without sleeping and then there's a normal force that's vertically up from the surface okay it has to actually lean in a case of funnel, the, the angle of the funnel is important. <clears throat> so we need to find what this angle will be and answer is given to you and to show that that's the answer. Okay. Uh, maybe you can try, you know, it's try for 10-15 minutes and come back to uh, the, uh, my answer. So I'm going to now start the answer. Um, let's see. Um, how I'm going to proceed. <clears throat> so let's uh, look at the uh, uh, because the rotation, and you can see there will be a put down something, uh, the spin motion, and the center of mass uh, rotating. Uh, uh, um, you can say center of mass motion. Center of mass is here, and its motion is in a circle, and this is at omega. And this uh, is spin, spinning that's happening can for mega s. So you can show from rolling motion some of the relationships. This is spinning, um, first of this omega, and if I go all the way, uh, omega times r will be the v. And for this thing, uh, you're spinning like this, you can figure out how many circles it goes and you can show that little uh, uh, little uh, little omega s uh, if r is small this has to be high and this would be equal to v so this you can show this these two things i'll leave you as how to show it but you can show us. So if I look at uh, angular momentum along this direction, let's call it LS vector, and then there's angular momentum along that direction, let's call it SC vector. Okay, so what is LS vector? It's going to be, um, I can write LS magnitude, and magnitude will be, um, moment inertia about this axis and omega s and th this will be uh, half m uh, so let's see mass b m mass b m uh, and half m r square that that and omega s is v over r and that just becomes half M V R, so we can just call it one of and one of the things 
how about the direction direction is in that direction uh, so if it's going in a circle and we can use a coordinate system like this so this is uh, z hat and uh, radial r hat and phi hat will be in 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 this because it's going to circle direction uh, phi hat will be in that direction and these guys uh, locating center or any point uh, will actually uh, depend on what point in space we're looking at right so this using uh, let's say using cylindrical coordinate and we can write this as cosine theta times r hat and sine theta times minus z hat so ls vector will be just ls um, and maybe the, uh, this is the origin so radial is out the way I'm read, radial vector is radial vector is this direction uh, outward from the center so uh, I'll just write down ls uh, cosine theta minus r hat direction plus ls sine theta minus k hat direction so this will be uh, the vector and but because this is moving while k hat is uh, independent time this is as a function of time so this is at some time t this is constant 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 so this is the only part that will be changing and this <coughs> environment will change because of this so let's see uh, uh, what the l is about lc so this is ls how about lc uh, LC is all along the k hat direction, so I just I know the k hat direction, and LC will be as if uh, center of mass is going around this, and it's going in circle R. I know it's lean a little bit, and there's a little bit of uh, short distance there, but I'm going to just say it's going in circle of radius R. So this this is like a uh, LC is almost m v capital R little m v capital r uh, <clears throat> now this is constant this is constant this is constant so i don't i don't need to worry about it um, when i l will be ls which is a function of time plus lc so if you look at uh, this guy it's um, uh, angular momentum changes according to this so we want to apply tau equals to dl dt that means i need to take a time derivative of this and then i can figure out torque uh, so dl dt is if i go out there this is the only thing so this remains the same so we can just drop this guy i have ls cosine theta minus dr hat dt and uh, let's look at uh, um, what that will be uh, for a, uh, a cylindrical coordinate so in a cylindrical coordinate um, in a cylindrical coordinate what we have is x and y and this at some point we're looking at that's r hat and phi hat is that way at some angle phi so where in this in this circle uh, it's located right that's the phi says so r hat is uh, just cosine phi i hat plus sine phi j hat you can you can figure that out so if i take a, 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 a phi hat phi hat is actually if I translate over this over here, phi hat is in that direction. This is unit vectors, 
these are unit vectors you forgot to say that and you can see this phi is 90 minus phi so this is the same as phi and and this length is 1 so uh, it would be minus sine phi i hat plus cosine phi j hat you can see if i take a time derivative i get this you can see uh, time derivative of this is equal to the uh, time derivative of this and phi dot right so this this is equal to uh, dr dt is of phi hat d phi dt so probably see it right away right uh, and that's what we're calling it big omega so th this is the big omega so th this is equal to um, ls big omega cosine theta and the direction is in the minus phi hat direction so it's in the horizontal direction and ang angular momentum is changing at this rate um, okay um, so if I can figure out torque I can just apply torque to this right apply torque to this um, let me clean this up and I'm going to work on the torque next okay okay so um, I copied and cleaned up the place uh, I forgot to mention that this problem comes from uh, uh, Kleppner and Kolenko uh, that's mechanics Um, if you also want more problems like this uh, solved, you can visit uh, this website. If you want some other problems to do, uh, maybe you can leave a uh, leave a note uh, or comment uh, to this video. Uh, and I go through that and uh, if I can address some of those questions I, I will okay so so we are trying to uh, make this equal to the torque okay so we need to figure our torque uh, on this disk uh, <clears throat> okay so what's the, um, what's the torque um, uh, will be uh, it will come from these forces so there will be a normal force will be like that and gravity will be like that and friction uh, friction will be uh, in, in you can see that is center of mass is going going in a circle that means the friction will be in the direction in that direction uh, that's the direction of the acceleration of the center of mass and there's none of these forces will contribute to that so the friction down here will be in that direction uh, this this direction towards the center just above that uh, <clears throat> if, if you're in this this will be in this plane so it's going to be right there so center, this is the friction uh, so friction is basically opposite to the direction of friction is like minus r hat and some friction force okay all right so uh, let's uh, <coughs> um, write the this is the equation of motion uh, that's going to be uh, about the uh, axis through this about the CM this is the about the CM this law so about the CM uh, mg has a zero so the tau this is about CM is tau from mg plus tau from normal plus tau from friction 
or this is a zero uh, the normal uh, uh, you you can actually draw a line like that to say if this is uh, you, you can you can let's see we can draw make sure we have a uh, proper angle this will meet somewhere and this is the horizontal so this is the theta so this is theta this is 90 minus theta and the normal is that way so this is theta so the normal is that way and the friction is that way and gravity is that way <clears throat> so uh, if um, this is the CM so about that CM I need this distance for the normal force and uh, the phi hat direction is pointing away from us in this diagram away from us but the when I do the R cross R cross normal right hand so uh, uh, this uh, this will be uh, from here you have a R hat R cross this so it's coming towards us so this is actually in the minus phi hat direction and this will be in the phi hat direction and it will be whatever the normal force is times this distance and this is the little r so r sine r sine theta and so this will be whatever the friction force is and so i need this distance so this is theta this 90 minus this is theta so uh, uh, so this is going to be this distance with respect to that uh, this is theta uh, and this is theta so I need that distance lever arm for the fo uh, friction force so that's going to be F R cosine theta <clears throat> and so this equal to that uh, so that one equation will be uh, just equating that and our cancelling minus sign everywhere will be minus except this one become minus now fr cosine theta and the other side this is cosine theta not v this is theta uh, that will be ls omega cosine theta and phi hat is the direction in the x x y plane is in this x y plane that's the phi that's the direction is phi <clears throat> and theta is the angle with which the disc is uh, leaning inward <clears throat> okay so this is one equation so that this equation can give no more relation which means uh, we need to be able to somehow uh, find n and f okay so that's an only another thing left is uh, uh, this, mo this center of mass motion so uh, so center of mass motion means f equals m uh, v square over r uh, minus r hat so that that's the center of mass motion and this f uh, is a vector f so in the z direction in z direction i just have n and mg n and mg so n minus mg equal to zero so that's equation two and in r hat direction we only have f in minus r hat direction you have f so f equals to mv square over r minus sign cancels out so f is minus r hat minus r hat f so this is oh so i got enough you can see this i can put inside here 
and then it looks like well, we have enough uh, enough relation so I'm going to erase some of this and get myself some space okay so um, putting these two in uh, putting uh, two in here uh, uh, putting putting two in here uh, something I did wrong okay Okay, so putting uh, putting two in here that gives me mg uh, r sine theta minus mv square over capital R because it's going in a big circle r cosine theta and ls was half m mvr omega cosine theta so uh, we have uh, you can see from here I can try to get get to where we want to go right so <clears throat> so we can send this on the other side and try to combine it see so omega is v square over r so this this v v over capital R so if I see it, v square or oh, little r cancels out from every one of them. Little r cancels out. So I see and mass cancels out from every one of them. So I, I see the v square over r here, v square over r here, and g sine theta. So I, I, I see a path, okay? So I have a g sine theta equals to uh, v square uh, cosine theta over r and this one is half and I brought this on the other side is one so that's where the three half comes from so g will go there and then bring theta here so tangent theta is going to be 3 v square over 2 g r that's that's what we have to prove and prove. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, <clears throat> long and hard problem, but there it actually teaches you quite a bit of uh, different process, right? One is that uh, you have uh, uh, about CM. So this this is dl dt equals tau about cm you can just apply one and then over here is f equals to mass a of cm these two are sufficient to actually put together the equations which i needed to find the angle of inclination okay i'm going to stop here Talk to you later in the video.